Let's talk about how we can scrape YouTube comments with Puppeteer. Puppeteer is a browser or headless browser automation testing library developed by Google. It runs Google Chrome underneath and allow you to control the browser via code. And this is purely in JavaScript and you can think about all the possibilities that you can do with this library. So today we want to see how we can scrape a sample YouTube video like this one. We want to go to the page and scroll down and load the comment section and then scrape the first five comments by this video. Sounds like a fairly simple task and it should give you a nice introductory into Puppeteer. So let's get started. You must first install the Puppeteer library. All you have to do is do npm install Puppeteer and it will install the Puppeteer runtime and the headless browser straight onto your node modules folder. And then we'll start a project with index.js. So first we need to set up a app boilerplate. Here I have a app boilerplate. All this does is it brings in the Puppeteer library and it runs a cell immediately invokes self uh, function and starts a puppeteer with headless false. Now this will make the browser run and it will start a whole browser. Instead of being headless, this will make the whole browser uh, appear on your window and then it will navigate through the web page as if you are controlling it. Now we start a new page and then set the viewport to be 1280 by 800. And then here we wait for the uh, navigation. Now we want to wait for navigation because we want to wait until we want to scroll down to the page. So we have to wait for until navigation is available. Now if you notice here, we everything is in async await here with Puppeteer. So if you're using an older version of Node, this may not work. So you need a Node version that supports async await. And here we can write our code. So Let's see what we want to do. We want to visit YouTube, go to this URL here, a video, and then we want to scroll down and load the comments. Notice that the comments are, they are lazy loaded. So YouTube want to, in order to save bandwidth, they only load comments when you scroll down to the page. So we have to emulate this behavior. We scroll down the page and then the comments load in. And then we look for the comments DOMs and then we try to find the author and then the content of the comments. And then we store everything inside of an array. So it sounds like a pretty simple task and let's do it. So first thing we need to do is to navigate to the YouTube page. Here we do await page.goto and then the link. And then we had to wait for a certain selector is available before we can scroll down. This is to ensure that the page has been loaded and it's been loaded properly. So the h1.title is something we can just do this and then we can look at it and see that uh, there should be a title div. And this is a div that we want to, it's an h1 title div. So we want to wait for this, con this DOM element is being loaded. Then we need to scroll down the page. So let's scroll down the page. So this is window scroll by window the inner heights. This will evaluate this um, this statement with this function. So this is like a JavaScript. You can scroll, and then you wait for the page to load. Here I give it two seconds for the comments to load, and then we wait for the selector called with the ID comments. So this is another. So when you write stuff for Puppeteer. You have to like try to emulate real life behavior and describe it as much as you can. So here we scroll down and wait for this comments that div is loaded. But a better way to do it would be to look inside the comment div to see if there's actually child elements in it. But uh, sometimes a video may not have any comments, so that's not a good way to do it. So now that we scroll down and we waited for the comments section to load, and let's do some complicated code. Not so complicated, but you'll understand. So here we start a new comments array. This is where we will store our comments. And then we'll here do a simple for loop that runs, well, four times. And here we have to find the author selector. 
So if we look at this here, this here it's the actual HTML CSS div CSS uh, selector for this for this element. So you could either do that with the copy the X path or copy the selector, or I like to use a uh, library, sorry, a extension called Puppeteer Recorder, which I'll talk about it in another video. Uh, this will help you find the actual selector you need. So I'm only storing the actual selector for the author. And then here I replace the actual uh, nth element with the counter. So this will select the first author or the first comments. Same thing here for the comment selector. We'll select the first comments, sorry, the nth comments, and then get its selector. And here we had to wait for both of these to be available first. So make sure that for Chrome, for this puppeteer, if you try to do, like let's say, get the text of the selector, you want to make sure that it's available on the page. Here we'll wait for it, make sure that it's there. And then we try to get the text of the elements. So for the comments text, here we have a helper function called get l text. Get l text is a very simple async uh, function that gets the text of the selector that's passed in. It also passes in the page context, which is something the uh, puppeteer does. So let's define that function. So this function takes a page context and then the selector. So all it does is it awaits for the for the page to evaluate the selector, and then it does the document that occurs in the text, which is JavaScript. Here, in order because this is a function, and because of uh, we won't be able to access selector variable unless we pass it in as a closure, because this returns a away function. Uh, so this is asynchronous, so we have to put async in front of it because it uses a away function. So this get l text. So we had to put a away function when we call it. And since we're getting the text now, and now we get the author, and then we got to make sure that if common text, uh, we should do an author. Then we log the author and the comment. And then we can push it the common text in and into the comments array. And then we close the browser. So let's run this and see what happens. You see a new browser window opens. And it's not running. Let's see what's going on. So it closes by itself, but if I run node index. Oh, very interesting. It's not going anywhere. Uh, the reason it didn't work is because I have these two all together. Um, this one actually needs to be placed at the very end after all your navigation is done. And then this one should be declared at the very beginning. So you will write all of your navigation related code inside of these two lines. And this will make it work. Okay, so here it runs the browser goes to the video, scrolls down, wait for the comments to load, and then it fetches all the comments. And here are the comments that it fetched. This is the author, and then this is the comments. This is the author, this is the comments. So this is the first four comments of the video page. And that is it for this introductory video to Puppeteer and browser automation. I plan to do a lot more videos about it, so feel free to subscribe and then come back and uh, check out new videos. Oh, if you like my videos, visit pentacle.com. We have a ton of videos there with tutorials on how to do neat stuff like that. And we also have a news section where you can go and check out all the latest web dev news. And make sure to subscribe to our newsletters and you'll get them every day in your inbox. I'll see you on the next video.